Hey folks, Will here again with Happily Ever Outdoors. So in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at True Specs 24-7 tactical pants and shorts. Just keep watching. All right, folks, I apologize if the sun is a little glaring at any point in this video. It's definitely later in the day. Uh, it's been extremely hot today. And between that, a couple other things going on at the house, I wasn't able to get this video going. But I've been wanting to do this review for a while. I was looking for a good pair of, I guess what you could call, EDC pants, just kind of for general everyday use, uh, but also something that would be practical when I'm going out in the woods to either do a quick video or do some bushcrafting, going camping, things like that, where I wouldn't have to worry about it getting stained or ripped uh, or messed up. So basically, I was looking for something that was durable and practical for out in the woods while also still having a nice, clean, practical look that wouldn't make me stand out while I'm walking around town. So once again, guys, this is going to be the 24-7 tactical pant from True Spec. There's a couple different pants in their 24-7 series. This is their classic version. This is basically the original design. Now these are in poly cotton ripstop, uh, which I really like. Some good things about this material is it's got a kind of a nice, sleek, clean look to it. So it looks good wearing it around town. Uh, but it's also extremely durable and if for some reason you were to get a really bad snag in it you're not going to have a long tear where you're going to have to worry about the pants becoming non-functional or severely damaged. Another nice thing about this material is that it is very water resistant. Hopefully you guys can see that there uh, but even with a heavy amount of water on my leg as long as you give it a quick brush off it's not going to soak in. Um, so not waterproof but um, it's definitely a big help to keep these things from just soaking up water, especially if you're walking through a little bit of wet grass or through the forest, anything like that. They've also got nice wide belt loops, as you can see. Um, so it's going to accommodate any kind of a military style web belt just fine, uh, but it'll also work fine with just a regular belt. Um, and they're really sturdy. I mean, they're wide as well, so you're not going to have to worry about this thing getting snagged and torn. You've also got a nice, thick, sturdy YKK zipper so no potential for that to fail and you've got a metal snap right there now taking the belt off I definitely want to show this to you guys because I think this is one of the best features now a lot of times on tactical pants you'll see kind of a bunched up like stretch panel on the sides that allows it to expand a little bit and contract um, but that's not the most sightly sometimes it looks a little weird when you have a belt on now with these pants they have a integrated hidden kind of stretch panel in the waist. So you can see right there, it just kind of allows that material in the front there, your pocket material to stretch. And that is super nice for a couple of reasons. Number one, it's a nice clean look. And number two, um, it'll fit to your body. So if you're the type of person, maybe your weight fluctuates a little bit, or maybe you know, you're wearing this during different seasons, you're gonna have layers underneath, things like that. It's always gonna be comfortable because you're gonna have that little bit of give and it's actually a pretty decent amount you can see if push comes to shove there's actually a lot of stretch there so personally my favorite waistband that i've ever seen on a tactical pant it's really functional really practical but it gives you a nice clean professional almost kind of like dress pant look now working our way down the pant you've got nice deep slash pockets in the front on both sides plenty of room to accommodate anything you're going to carry You've got these really cool integrated pockets right here, uh, EDC pockets. You could carry a knife on one side, flashlight on the other if you'd like. And again, that is mirrored on both sides of the pant. Personally, that's one of my favorite features of this pant. I think it's a really, really smart design and uh, it's super useful. Just to make it a little easier to show you guys, we'll go ahead and pull out another pair of these pants. Uh, but looking to these side cargo pockets, you can see we've got multiple pockets built in right here. You've got this smaller pocket right here with a Velcro closure, as well as what you would expect your large cargo pocket on the side. And that has several integrated sleeves in there as well. Of course, this is a tactical pant, so uh, magazines are what they had in mind. Uh, for those pouches, but you can see where anybody bushcrafting, hiking, you could find purpose for that as well. 
You've also got a nice little bit of a stretch panel there if you're carrying heavier cargo. And you can see the same design feature here in the back pockets. You've actually got a little bit of a Velcro tear away there. So if you don't have something large in there, it'll fit a little bit sleeker, a little tighter to the pant. Um, and if you do, it'll allow it to expand. Throughout the pant, you kind of see this angled slash pocket design, and I really like that. It makes it nice and easy. You've got something you can grab onto and you can pull to open that pant. And again, having the Velcro closures are nice because there's no buttons you have to mess with, and you know whatever you've got in your pockets is secure. There's no way it's going to come popping out on you. Moving down, nothing too fancy to point out, but it's just a well-built pant. You see you've got nice double stitching here. Everything is very strong. You've got a little bit of double layer um, reinforcement on the knees there, uh, but a nice kind of clean, sleek look. One thing to keep in mind is that this is a looser cut pair of pants by design, which I really like personally. I like something that's comfortable when I'm crouching and kneeling positions like this. It's not going to bind up on me or pull in weird places, but when it comes to sizing, especially if you're a smaller guy, always keep that in mind even with the cuffs you've got a looser cuff down here at the bottom. Now me, I'm a little bit of an odd size. I generally wear a 32 inch waist. And for a pant, especially one that's a looser cut cuff like this, I need about a 28 inch leg, which is not something you can normally get. However, you can find these online unhemmed and you could take them to a, a local shop and have them hemmed up exactly where you need them. Or you could order from websites. I ordered mine through galls.com and they actually offer hemming for just a few dollars um, to get them custom hemmed. So I was able to do that and get it exactly the right size. And I would certainly recommend that because if these pants are too long on you, odds are they're probably going to drag and you're going to be stepping on the back of them, um, getting caught under your heel and things like that. But just keep that in mind and if you're looking for a little bit tighter fitting pair of pants, this might not be the one for you. Of course, I want to show you guys the shorts real quick. Um, but in terms of features, function, everything is exactly the same. There's literally not a single change uh, from the shorts when compared to the pants other than not having the rest of the leg. That's it. Exact same waistband, exact same pockets. You can get it the exact same material, same build, same pair of pants. So even though that poly nylon ripstop is pretty lightweight, especially for as strong and durable of a material as it is, sometimes it's just going to be too plain hot for a pair of pants and uh, then this is going to be a really great go-to. For me I'm also a little OCD about certain things and I kind of like things to be a certain way so once I found a pair of pants that I liked, um, I like the way the pockets are laid out and everything, um, I wanted the same thing in my shorts and that's actually pretty cool because if you've got a really particular EDC that you like to have a set up a certain way you can go right from the pants to the shorts and you're not even going to skip a beat. These pants and shorts are also available in a variety of different colors. There's also some camouflage patterns, so you can definitely get exactly what you want, or if you like a little bit of variety, or maybe you're getting this to wear as like a uniform pant, and it's gotta be a certain color. You shouldn't have any issues finding what you need. And as you guys can see, I'm a big fan of these pants and shorts. My first pair I bought, I think, maybe about two months ago, and I've drugged these things through the woods. I mean, scraped them up against trees, got them snagged on stuff, and no rips, no tears, no stains. And this is a light khaki color. And I was so impressed with that, I knew that this was the pair of pants that I really wanted. So I got a second pair, and then I picked up three pairs of the shorts. So if that's not a stamp of approval, I mean, I don't know what is. Of course, these are more expensive than a cheap pair of pants you might get at a department store. But at the same time, I expect to get years of use out of these things. They're going to be really great for wearing around town, for going out on hikes, all kinds of stuff like that. And I know I can count on them. They're not going to fail on me. I don't know if you've ever heard the saying, buy once, cry once, but I think that applies here. Sometimes it is worth spending a little bit of money and investing in quality gear. So folks, if you're looking for a good quality tactical pant that can take you straight from the town out onto the trail, I encourage you to check these out. Of course, if you have any questions or comments, we would love to hear from you down below. And until next time, stay happy, stay outdoors.